Yeah, for Does that drive you the craziest though? Does Jaden do that? Like, oh, I yeah. want this, Constant. and then takes a bite mm -hmm. or zero bites. Mm -hmm. Sometimes oh, they awful. take zero bites. He'll take a bite of an apple and throw it right in the trash can, and then I'm like, I can't uh -uh. go digging for it. Oh, I do. It pisses oh. me off. Oh, oh, I dig it out. I'll Jane, chop yeah. it up. Yeah, and dig it out, wash this. it off, put some peanut butter on there for him. <laughs> so here you go. Peanut <laughs> butter and like some ants on a log. Yeah. Yeah. yeah or is that with celery? That's like, celery. It works with, it's celery, it works with peanut an apple. butter, and then you put raisins on it to make yeah. it look like. See, that's an organized mom. Like, it's so I'm not a that's, mom. That's Aunt Shay. That's somebody talking who doesn't have kids. So. We all know it can never actually mm -hmm. happen. No. Yeah. No. Nor Chandra would, would be able to pull it off. Yeah, she could. Somehow. I don't yeah. fucking know how. Sandra. Yeah. I like yeah. that name. Introduce, <laughs> Introduce Sandra. <laughs> That's yeah. my ex-wife. This is Kristen Sansma, <laughs> no! though. <laughs> Sansma. <laughs> we all know who's on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you follow the checklist? Kristen yeah. Sansma. Yes. In the house. It's so funny because my last name is so simple, <laughs> but no one has it in America. Yeah. Because my dad immigrated here, so but no one no. can say What's it. What's the origin? It's Dutch. Dutch. Yeah, he came Dutch. here on a boat. Shut up. Yeah, that's, that's cool. cool. Yeah, it's really cool. My sister did a lot of digging once to find a picture of the actual boat he came on and like the actual mm. manifest. So we used to have it up in our dining room. That's freaking that's cool. Does he have something in the Ellis Island book? I don't know if he has one in the Ellis Island book. I don't think <laughs> oh. so because I think he came through a different port. Got it. But we have the manifest, which is cool. What that is, is what's cool. What's a typical Dutch food? So we try and introduce Dutch babies. Well, there's a lot of even no. what is a Dutch baby? Well, there's a Schnitzel? lot of Schnitzel, or is that that's German? That's German. Schnitzel. Yeah. Schnitzel. <laughs> we stay with we call it Hagaslaw, but it's like bread with like chocolate sprinkles on top. Oh, Hagaslaw. Yeah. That sounds like yeah. I was thinking like there's some shit with sauerkraut or oh, yeah. mustard. Like you sausage. know, it's eel. That's yeah. German. We do do eel. I mean, it sounds like Hagaslaw. Yeah. So like raw eel. My is, grandma used to like slice oh. and give us like raw eel. That's disgusting. But, it's actually not bad. <laughs> oh, it's like sushi, black though, right? Black licorice. We do a lot of black yeah. licorice. There's a double Dutch off of Lowell in <sighs> Highlands. So we I used, we actually just went there this week and got some – they have That's, all their holiday supplies. That's and I give the kids – I let them pick their candy, and they each get a candy bag, but it's filled with black licorice to try and get them mm. – familiar with it okay black yeah. licorice is i went to amsterdam one time that's dutch right amsterdam, amsterdam is dutch no black oh licorice. i love black licorice and part of like this um, bus tour that we were on every time we would go to a new city they would give us something that was like local yeah and black licorice that's what they gave us yeah mm -hmm. it's so and it was like but it's different no it's mm -hmm. like i like I don't know, like even the it Mentos hits a lot harder. Are like black it's licorice. really, it's yes. like twice the potency. You gotta be that, ready like, for it. It'll hit you, you on your ass. You have to know that you're it's, putting black licorice. It's like in the your difference mouth. between taking a shot of like Jack Daniels and like a thirty year. You know, scotch. it's actually probably the same. Like <laughs> so, in, in elementary school, <laughs> the scotch will just fucking kill you. You know, yeah. if you drink it too hard. In elementary school, I used to always bring Dutch food as like the you know World Day. Yeah. Because I knew the kids would spit it out, so I would always bring it. And then that way the kids would try it, and then in recess they'd be like, Ugh, and spit it out. Uh, I just thought that was the funniest thing. Oh, I thought you were like, because I was yeah. hungry and I no, wanted to bring no. some home. <laughs> no, because I thought that like some not regurgitated able to licorice. Do it. it was great. Yeah. yeah. No, it's great. Okay, so right. introduce Kristen. Yeah, Kristen Sansma here. <laughs> you do everything. You, you're a house flipper. That's yeah. how we met yeah. initially. Shout out Greg in California for hooking us up. Oh yeah, that's a yeah. great story. How many years yeah. ago was that? Like five, I found an old Facebook story of a house that Kieto. Oh, Kieto? That, was a good, that was a good one. That was like one the greatest, best. one of the best yeah. flips of all time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sold in like two hours. Yeah, oh, I'm and, so I said, and we we got it for like seventy five k under asking in like yeah. the hottest market ever. And I told him I said like, oh. maybe you didn't price it well, like high enough. <laughs> right. <laughs> sold that fast. Funny story about that. Before we were going to market, like the night before, I was shitting my pants because <laughs> I remember distinctly I was in the Bahamas. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, this house was framed, mm -hmm. and a lot of the comps that I had were all brick houses. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, oh, my God, we're pricing this way too high. We were somewhat newer to, the, to that side of, <laughs> yeah. um, I was, like, was it Regis area? She's, like, she's never going to work with me again. Yeah, it was just a Chaffee Park. Yeah. Yeah. And then it ended up selling, like, 60K over our oh ass price. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I was like, whoo. We're just trying All to right. get an offer on our fix and flip right now. Uh, yeah, you guys flipped. We did flip. Yeah. yeah. So you. All right. So anyway, you flip houses. You also. Yeah. I mean, you're quarterbacking a project for me right now, the basement remodel, that yeah. turned into also a <laughs> master shower and flooring and what else do we do? Building walls. 
Yeah, you're excellent. making a whole kitchen down there. I've been watching your stories. Mm-hmm. It looks yeah. pretty freaking dope. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be really sick. After today, there's going to really be well. some like really good progress after today because they're doing floors today, right? Yeah, yeah. You, but, but you just stages. design, right? You don't actually. So I sometimes help manage. Like I have a lot of the workers that work on a lot of my projects. Yeah. So they come in and so hook up my clients. Yeah. yeah. But they know what I expect, so I like working with them because I know when they go in. Yeah. They know what to do. I don't have to, like, micromanage them at all. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Yeah. Are you and your boys are upstairs already, right? Mm-hmm. How's it going, like, with all the construction and the Well, basement? first night with them, they spent the night last night for the first time. Oh, so how'd they like it? It was good. We had to keep them out of the kitchen. But they loved it. Because you jumped the gun. The kitchen's not done. <laughs> I did. Oh, I was like, <laughs> yeah. why can't they go in the yeah. kitchen? It doesn't have floors. Oh. Yeah, the flooring is still removed, but it's going to be there today. So. Did we'll you get a new bed for them? The bunk beds. Oh, yeah. Beds. Dude, I got bunk beds for my two younger, and then I got Did this he ever? badass. Did <laughs> he ever, right? Did he ever? I got, like, two playground bedrooms. Basically, <laughs> I'm so cute. dad of the year, for sure, with these beds. Get Landon comes so up to me, and he's like, Dad, can I go play in my room? I'm like. Yeah, dude. That's the point. <laughs> go. <laughs> go, bro. I got yeah. these really cool lights for upstairs because normally, like, the like those rooms are smaller. You know, paint them white clean. Like, got these really cool lights. And then I walk in there, and I'm like, whoa. There's, like, a log cabin <laughs> like, built like in. Like, huge, like, furniture everywhere. And I was like, um. It's a lot bigger than what I thought. We're still going to put these lights in there, but I think these will look better later in life. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's funny. Dope. Yeah, it's all about them right now. Yeah. It's all about them right now. So you're now. a house flipper. You're uh, like a construction management? Yeah, I say like a project manager. Project yeah. manager. So my project management comes from a lot of different perspectives. So I actually work with a lot of other investors that are trying to flip. Mm-hmm. So I help them manage their pro- projects, like staying within budgets, certain selections, certain target markets. And I also run a marketing company. And that's really where my background comes from. And that's where I think is helped flipping houses a lot, yeah. understanding target market, what people want, stuff like that. So um, the project management comes to some homeowners, but as long as I know that they're not going to be super (laughs) crazy Mm -hmm. homeowner projects, we'll do homeowner projects like basement renovations and kitchens and bathrooms and stuff like that. People who want like pretty, pretty spaces. (laughs) Yeah. 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 Very cool. Scale of one to 10, how high maintenance am I? Not at all. (laughs) (laughs) She sent me four carpets yesterday. She goes, hey, what do you want? I was like. He took longer than 30 seconds, so I said, just well, kidding, I selected the choice for yeah. me. No. <laughs> no, that was because I was driving, but then yeah. she selected it, and I was like, you know my answer, whatever you think is best. Yeah. That's been my answer to everything mm-hmm. she's asked me. Yeah, when we did our flip, the guy's like, do you guys want to pick like backsplash and this and that? And we're like, fuck no. Mm-hmm. That's so crazy. No. I usually meet some GCs, um, and they're usually dudes, and they're like, hey, we'll manage your whole renovation project for you, like pick your finishes, and I'm like, no Did offense, but yep. well, okay. I will pick out my own things. Yeah. I will yeah. even drop it off for you. I just need you to do the work. Because there's so many elements in regards to direction of tile, mm-hmm. which way to run the floors, just like the whole drama today with like, you know, which way to run the floors. Was that today? Yes. See, I didn't you know, even know about that. Which direction to go. And I Let try me guess, and though. Include... You went from like, from the door? Yeah. Long ways. Yeah. Is it not the... the space? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's Why would you ever go a, this way? Yeah. It's not always a given because well, the other all, floors are running that way though. No, they're running that same direction. Okay. Yeah, but it's I don't actually welcome to your house. might not be right. Yeah. <laughs> Every house is so different, mm-hmm. and you're trying to recreate a space. Sometimes you want to make it feel different. If like, because right now he's has hard, hardwood, and then he has laminate. Uh, so if you the way we're running it now, it's not like the most ideal. It is for space, but you'll know hardwood. It doesn't yeah. feel that great. If you go opposite, it looks more intentional. But his plan is to redo the kitchen anyway, mm-hmm. so yeah. it'll be different later Got anyways. It. Different project. Yeah. So Different it, budget. That, yeah, that's irrelevant. Well, but RGC downstairs. didn't make the decision. Oh, okay. okay. RGC, so it was our it was And our I love GCs. Agent. I'm not Yeah, saying. no. It was our agent <laughs> okay. who, like, kind of does what you do yeah. in a way and, like, runs the fix and flips. Yeah. And he's done it a long time, and he's like, I have an aesthetic, and I know it works. Yeah. So then we're like, okay. But if it was our GC, if it was no, Ernie, we'd yeah. be like, ah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, that's one thing you do I in your I love them. I love my workers. Yeah. I love my workers. They sure as hell are not picking out my tile. Yeah. 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 Well, that's one thing you do that I've noticed is like, there is a lot of congruency in your stuff, but it's always super unique. Yeah. It's so like some of the finishes will be the same. Um, shower wise, like you'll yes. do the same tiles if you find something that works. Yeah. But it's not that way for long. Like, you're always on that next design trend. That's not on purpose. That's because they can't keep stuff in stock and they're always rotating. Oh, for sure. I mean, it forces you to, you know, recreate stuff. But you only really can do it for 
one to three houses Mm -hmm. and then they no longer carry that tile anymore or that vanity that worked with that tile or whatever you're trying to emulate Mm -hmm. how did you survive like with what you just said Mm -hmm. how did you survive during covid when like everything was like shut down and like out of stock see i think a lot of people made mistakes because they were ordering things i would just go to every store and see what was in stock and only buy in stock mm-hmm. stuff. There you go. Smart. And if they didn't, but we bought everything at the beginning of the project because if you wait till the flooring stage, right. you wouldn't have any material. Yeah. Yep. So like for floor and decor, there were some laminates we liked um, at the time. And if we didn't buy them early enough, when the shipment came, yeah. they would fly off the shelves and then you wouldn't have a choice. So we're having to make decisions earlier than I normally would like, but we just did them yeah. earlier. How long have you been doing this? For like seven to eight years. That's awesome. How'd yeah. you get into it? So I grew up in commercial real estate, okay. forced to work in my dad's office on like a little filing box. And we used to write mortgage loan sheets in, mm-hmm. in pencil. Mm-hmm. Make an error, no white out. Rewrite the oh. sheets, yeah. the long sheets. Yeah. And yeah, we used to analyze profit and loss sheets. And what I learned from them was a lot of his investors were looking how to convert multifamily to increase value, right? Mm -hmm. No matter what price they bought it for. So I saw a lot of what they were doing in regards to condo conversions, uh, looking at the P&Ls and where can they make more money, where can they not? So Mm -hmm. after I was working in professional sports at the time and I was actually talking with my dad and he was like, why don't you just do this for residential houses? And I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, you already do it half the time, just do it on a house. And I was like, for real? (laughs) (laughs) And I was like, what if it doesn't work out? He's like then it doesn't work out and you just don't do it again. And I was like, all right. So we did it once and it worked out. We did it on a 500 square foot condo next to Voodoo Donuts on Colfax. Oh, really? I love okay. Voodoo Donuts. <laughs> and knowing what I know now, I should never have sold it. I yeah. bought it for like $90,000. Yeah. Yes. yeah, you never know though. No. Mm-hmm. It's worth next to Voodoo today. Donuts. Mm-hmm. But my marketing background oh, came into not. play because yeah. I am I know Voodoo Donuts, they have a big marketing budget. They're looking at future stats of visitors location real estate trends right mm-hmm. so i knew if i was next to a voodoo donuts that area was going to be transforming okay. right on that side of town yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, cap hill it's made gains yeah, yeah. it's made some gains yeah. over the years yeah, yeah. it has so i yeah. knew it was it a stable yeah. opportunity i wasn't sure about 500 square feet actually i think it was less oh. but um i knew it was a good like first try yeah and now it just sold i think at the beginning of covid mm-hmm. for like four times yeah mm. Yeah, what I sold it for. It was really painful to yeah. see, it's but okay. it's okay. No. It's all right. Live and learn. So the first time we worked together um, was on those Mexico properties. Those two Mexico mm. properties in Virginia Village. Those are the first two that I listed for you. I was like, you did. No, didn't you do Mexico the takeover? On the street no, you Mexico. did the takeover on Arvada. Okay. Brentwood. Yeah. I did do that one. Yeah. Was that the same time? That yeah, was the first one, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. I usually. I feel like they were both around the same time. Yeah. Sometimes the yeah. strategy with selling a house is switching agents. It just is the nature of the game. And I had one that was a great house, but just wasn't converting over. And that's actually how we met. I have, uh, I'm from California originally. Mm-hmm. I reached out to one of my friends who's an agent. I said, hey, I just need a go-getter, someone hungry mm-hmm. that actually wants to like work out here. I need to meet some more hungry agents uh, for the amount of business that I wanted to do out here. And um, he's like, all right, I have a network. I'll reach out. And he said Sean was the only one. Uh-huh. Did not he had a lot of responses. He yeah. said Sean was the only one to actually follow up and reach out. I called follow yeah. up. Yeah, the Just only kidding. one. <laughs> was it an email or a phone <laughs> call? <I don't> know. <laughs> it was a phone call. <laughs> he said he said I had tons of comments. People that wanted that said they wanted the work, but Sean was the only one to respond. So I called Sean. Oh. And it sold within a week. Sean. Yeah. Yeah. So I had two more properties on <laughs> like a really busy street, Mexico, right? <laughs> Think yeah. Best Buy Ross, Colorado. Oh, I know, right? Where you're talking about. <laughs> Hacienda. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They oh, are yeah. literally like, you can see them from there. Yeah. Super cool units. So cool. They were, we had Those one. Those are two of the coolest. They were. They are like three, four stories tall. Um, <clears throat> they are random. It was a random build they did. It was unintentional. Mm-hmm. Uh, we ended up getting the neighbor's house because she saw what we were doing and decided she just wanted to sell and move to Vail and mm-hmm. take her money and leave. So we ended up doing side by sides. But they were really, really cool properties. Those were. Yeah. yeah. And you just completely re- renovated them? Yeah. The second one didn't need as much work as the first one. The first one was kind of like just dirty and whatever. done. Yeah. Yeah. And it was interesting too, just yeah. the way it was all set up. They were really neat. There was Each literally five so levels different. in that first one. Yeah. And you would never tell by looking from the outside no, so what dope. was on the inside. It was oh, so dope. Yeah. They're not just like the long, 
townhouses houses you mm-hmm. see now they yeah. had like square livable space not just so narrow yeah, yeah. they were really sick yeah Aww. a lot of stairs but yeah, yeah. Tons really of great layouts sure. i live in yeah. a yeah. very i live in a very narrow long townhome with yeah. lots of stairs you would appreciate so, this yeah. though this, skinny this? and tall Skinny and tall, yeah. mm-hmm. unlike myself, but <laughs> I'm but I mean it, it, it's 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 just me. Short it works. I mean, I could like lay probably three times from wall to wall, but okay. I don't know. No, my husband. That's all I like, need. I can't you help need. you reach that. You can reach it. I'm like, why do I have to prove to you? Oh, I have ladders in my house, like little baby ladders that I, yeah. (laughs) Well, your husband's like seven foot tall. He is, but I'm like, why do I have to prove to you I can't reach it? Just grab it for me. Like, I can't Like, this is it. This is. You get the kids, they have a little kid stool. (laughs) I No, I put the kids on the counters and I make, see that red? You know the color red. (laughs) Reach for red. You ever just (laughs) walk in like it's quiet and you just walk into your kitchen and one of your kids is on the counters Mm -hmm. like grabbing some shit way up high? Oh, yeah. My kids, they learned how to climb the. Oh, my gosh. See, I climbed to Sarah, my. Your husband is my Sarah, mm. so I'll go over and I'll just be like, and she keeps the wine glasses up high. But for what? Like, for to yeah. punish me. To prevent Shay from <laughs> so drinking so much over wine. And I'll be like, open it. She's like, you want some wine? I'm like, uh huh. And she's like, you need help? And I'm yeah. like, yeah, bitch, I do. <laughs> it's like you rocking your face. Yeah. I'll go get Jaden's little step stool, and I'm like, here you go, honey. Here's yeah. an extra five inches yeah. for you. Such an asshole. That's messed yeah. up. How, so bad you're married. how bad do you want it? You're yeah. married, you're married with three kids. Want? Yeah, I actually have five oh. kids. So I have two bonus older kiddos. Oh, oh okay. and then I have. Do one of them just got signed, like D one, right? Yeah, he's going to Iowa State. Bad ass. For, what? for football. Oh, cool. Yeah, he's an amazing football player. What position? Uh, offensive lineman. There you go. <laughs> one of, one of the lines. Yeah. Yeah, yeah offensive oh, lineman. Oh, big guy. Mess up because they always hey, they always talk about moving things and there's a lot of conversations. How tall? Like he's. He's six five. Six five. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a yeah, big boy. What like yeah. two eighty? Uh yeah. How tall are you? Six five. You're not. Six one. <laughs> <That's exactly laughs> six right. one. Yeah. So he's tall. He's yeah, he's yeah, he's a big kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you're tall to me. What high school did you go to? Sure. He's going to Trey Creek High School. Okay. Appreciate that. Yeah, he's in a okay. senior year right now. Gotcha. First compliment Shay ever gave me on the show. Got you. You got that, got James? It. Thank it's you. Recorded. <laughs> Thank you. Soak it in. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. he's really excited. He's an awesome football player. He's just a totally different he's a different kid That's out there on the football field. It's really fun to watch him. And it's the uh, my little boys love watching him play. Oh, they I just bet. think he's the coolest thing. Anytime there's football on TV, they think he's playing. Aww. Yeah, yeah. So they, wait, how, how young are your They're youngest? They're five, and then I have two and a half year old twins. Boys. Boys. Yeah. Twins? Yeah. Bless your soul. Thank Bless you. Soul. I appreciate it. <laughs> two <laughs> Lincolns and a Landon. Yeah, That's what you it's got. Tough. Yeah. Yeah. I think my life is hard. How do you manage work and all of that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fun. What, does, I, what is clean? Is that alcoholic? Is that it energy? Is. It's just an energy drink. Oh, okay. Yeah, I ran out of my other stuff. <laughs> it just says clean. <laughs> like, oh, that way no one knows what it is. It's organic caffeine. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, organic. Trying to shift it up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Make good choices. Okay. I tell you. No, it's chaos all the time, but uh, I usually have all my littles with me. They go to part-time preschool, but they're usually always with me. All my workers know them. Oh, that's they good. They always have the tools. Mm-hmm. They're usually barefoot. It's good part-time for Part-time preschool. So good for them, yeah. like... Okay. To be around that though, oh, see yeah. hard work, see everybody yeah. doing that. Like I hope so. I make them carry. I'm, yeah, they carry all the stuff. They carry the tile out of the tile store. The two Schluter. and a half year olds. Oh, they love carrying Schluter. I can show you a video. <laughs> what if they were to drop it and break break it? Um, Kids oh, drop shit. For it. Yeah. Oh, you, you account tile. for overage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I give them like one piece of tile. Oh, okay. yeah. not yeah. like a stack. It's That's like a little. Piece. Hopefully not the I'm tile like, I picked up yesterday is like this no, big. No, no, no. That, they You're complaining like about six dollars, six dollars no. SpongeBob SquarePants ice cream no. palettes. Oh, Four dollar oh, penny tile. Okay. Yeah, and they carry through the store. I love that. I do that with my kids. Like this is your job. Yeah. Logan's like, this is my job? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, buddy. Is Logan the yeah. smallest? He's the middle. The middle. He's the middle, yeah. Logan, Landon, and... Lincoln. Lincoln. Yeah. Logan, Landon, Lincoln. Yeah. So many L's. And so I thought many. my twins with K's was crazy. I couldn't... What, are, what are their names? Kingston and Carter. Kingston and Carter. Oh, that's yeah. cute, but with K's? Yes. And then you're a nine-year-old? Uh, the she just spelled five. Kingston with a five. C and then Carter with a K. Johannes. Yeah, he got the Dutch name. <laughs> Johannes. Johannes. Yeah. Oh, Johannes. Yes. Okay. And then the older ones are Olivia and AJ. Oh, so you do have a girl in there. Yeah, we do have one girl. Oh, God bless <laughs> I her. I know. God bless her. <laughs> yeah. All right. Big family. Yeah. Busy, busy, busy. What does your husband do? Can we he ask that? builds custom barn doors. Do you guys kind of like mesh your businesses together? It's actually kind of how it got started. So I was working on some properties at the time, and he was actually working for the Denver Broncos. 
and do uh, what make security him? barn oh. doors yep. I was like, yeah barn doors? <laughs> <laughs> he did build barn doors for them but uh no <laughs> is that funny no i Joking? just <laughs> oh she's a huge drink of water <laughs> I, almost, I literally almost spit it y'all right <laughs> y'all right that was really bad <laughs> that's what you get for uh fucking me over with the wine glasses yeah, yeah. yeah karma there we go all right barn doors. sorry continue. so no it's, we had a i had an odd space in a home near in berkeley I, I work with a lot of homes that have really odd spaces. <laughs> yeah. And we, That's how you get the good deals. Yeah, though, yeah. Right? For sure. like, oh, 100%. I love people my don't odd see the homes. vision in them. If a home's pretty, yeah. I'm like, ah, it's probably not a good enough deal. I love my uh, uh, my unmaximized homes. But uh, we were building a pantry. We had like an odd space and they had no place for a door. It was such a small kitchen. Like, there's no case for a door. And I was like, oh, this is before like the farmhouse trend I saw on Pinterest, like these barn doors. But they were online for like a thousand bucks. And I was already, like, tied on budgets at the end of the project. And I was like, hey, can you build me a barn door? <laughs> He's like, really? uh, no. And I was like, listen, just try. it's like five steps on <laughs> yeah. Pinterest. Like, on the blog, it's like five steps. Buy the wood. Nail it. <laughs> stain it. <laughs> hang it, right? And eat our friend Ruben will hang it for you. The first one, absolute disaster. It was a scrap. And he was all mad. And I was like, listen, we have so much extra money left over. It's only from, get like, better from here. Yes. Yeah. Try, yeah. try again. So got him to try again, and we got it hung. And the agent at the time I was working with thought that our contractor had built it. So my husband felt spectacular because he thought yeah. someone thought a contractor had built it. So I said, hey, why don't we throw this up on Etsy and see if anyone will buy it? We didn't know anything about shipping. Yeah. And from marketing, I'm like, I'm a big believer in like testing a business before you launch it. Uh -huh. So we just threw it up on Etsy. We went on vacation, and people hit us up. And I was like, oh, crap, I better like figure out shipping and stuff. Yeah. And then it just kind of spiraled out. But most of the homes I work with usually have barn doors. Yeah, you always part. put like no one way. barn door in there yeah. at least. Yeah. It oh, it, and if they're not, oh, you gotta yeah, yeah, yeah. give your husband it, some yeah. work. I know. You like tear that. He doesn't down. need it. He hates. I am like his worst client. He hates me. I never give him enough notice. I'm always trying new designs. <laughs> That's um, what we do. I'm literally as his worst. Yeah, I'm literally yeah. his worst client. But. Um, he's Realtors and then <laughs> flipper, yeah, like yeah. the same shit. We're the worst. They call me electrician. We need a replacement panel. He's like, well, when do you need it? I was like, dude, we close in a week. So. Yeah. Today. Let's go. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. Now. <laughs> yeah, right Drop now. what you're doing. Yeah, <laughs> this is what it is. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, his business has been phenomenal since then. Um, but most most of the homes I work with need something. Like, if master bedrooms are small, I usually throw in a barn door over the closet so, like, the door's not encroaching mm, into right. the bedroom. Mm, like, into right. the – it's all about, like, in my opinion, like, the look and feel. And if a closet doesn't really need, like, a true right. door, if it can make the room feel a little bit bigger. Yeah. Have you ever – lost money on a flip definitely yeah only one okay yeah that's pretty good how many yeah. how many have you done it wasn't I... 610 south holly <laughs> yeah, no was it was not a... you remember that? that that one you're still cash flowing though right yeah that's a rental that's that one's phenomenal you know what yeah it didn't work as a flip, but I'm glad it that you're making but you money know, it, on it. It was just different market. <laughs> so the one he's talking about is over by. It's like Cherry Creek, but like South. Is it South? Yeah, Glendale North? ish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So what happened Shock was and Willys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when Walkable. we were analyzing the property, there wasn't a lot on the market. Like you never want to drop a house where there's like so much inventory, <laughs> right? And at the time, we analyzed it from a perspective of there was not a lot on the market. It just so happened right before we listed. Like six others listed their mm. flips, not on a busy. Yeah, that's right. Not not on a busy street. Yeah. <laughs> ours was on a busy street, and theirs were priced somewhat similarly, and yeah. not on a busy street. Yeah. But because of the way we renovated it, it has six bedrooms. It has an up down oh. live basement. Uh, it cash flows phenomenally. So we ended up just keeping. Do you it. Just have I'll long term renters in there? Yeah. Th what happened was is this restaurant had all these employees, and they rent by the room. And one girl manages it. Oh. So for them, they pay minimally. They all work together, yeah. come and go. And now it's she has other her friends living in there. Yeah, yeah. But the the setup is amazing. The backyard, it's super accessible location. I'll probably never sell that house. Yeah. Right. So but hey, so some out. negatives worked are out. actually yeah. a huge if you do, I got positive. dibs though. No, that one is yeah. If we you won't, do, yeah. So yeah. sometimes yeah. negatives turn into a positive, but that was definitely right. not our loss. We definitely lost one in like the shift of the market. Mm -hmm. We just we understood a swing, but it was like a huge 
like a way bigger swing than I had expected, but we what had. Kind of, what kind of dent was that? Like how, uh, how bad we talking? <laughs> how bad we talking? <laughs> not, it honestly wasn't too bad, but for me, anything like uh, you know, even a yeah. thousand bucks would yeah. be. Well, like, you put so much heart and soul yeah, and time into yeah. it, it's like so it's pretty. just discouraging. Yeah. yeah, so pretty. Wait, is it on right now? No, no, oh, no. Okay, no. We okay. sold it, but we sold it a loss because at the time we had even read this blog. It's like you can, I can make up the difference. In one house. So this is the one we were talking about. On the yeah, way don't oh, okay. fret about, don't fret about a loss on one. If you yeah. know you can make it up on another, you can hold yeah. on to it. Try and like, yeah. just move on. At some point, move on and make it up elsewhere. And we did. What type we're, of like when you're analyzing a property? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna oh. say we're we have a flip that we're just like fucking stressing about. Stressed. Because it's tight. Margins are already tight. Yeah. It's been on the market for three Only weeks. three weeks. It'll it's be three bad. weeks on yeah. Friday. But Tomorrow. Well, let me look at but it. Because that's, that's my big thing. Last Friday, I would Shay and I went too. to this little um, holistic lady who made us a candle that's supposed to help Shout itself. out Cosmic Tea. Cosmic oh. Tea. So, <laughs> yeah. So we went and got a bottle of wine, and she said to uh, get oh God. fucking pumpkins and acorns next to this tree in the front yard and <laughs> bless so, the earth with well, it. So, so we, we <laughs> showed care. her a photo first of the house, <laughs> right? Can't make and it up. because we've heard. Um, We've okay. heard agents before go there and they get a candle for the house and it yeah. sells right away and we need this motherfucker to sell. Yeah. And so we went and we showed him a picture and then she said, get baby pumpcorns and a, a- pumpkins, pumpkins, <laughs> pumpkins. And, acorns, <laughs> and they need to be real. But we can't find pumpkins and acorns. Anyways, yeah, so we go and light no. this candle, and we're, like, Amazon? saging the house with this, yeah. <laughs> right? That's what you need video the instructions. Of. Yeah. <laughs> video of yeah. real stuff. But the instructions <laughs> clearly say, hey, the candle has oil in it, so if something happens, don't pour water on it. It's going to fucking oh, go God. up in flames, right? So we're over there. Just and like it also said, wine. don't put the candle on the paper plate that we give you. Find a metal surface to put the candle on and burn it down. We bow in your... That's a lot of fucking instructions for a candle. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's important. Yeah, I get it, but mm-hmm. but we almost burned the house down. I note. almost broke my ankle trying to get Sarah, the flame out, <laughs> Sarah. So we're but like, as long as the house sells, we're yes. good. Yeah. Well, we had one of the contractors in there, and he was like fixing some stuff that we needed to have fixed, and we were like talking to him, and Sarah's like. Oh shit! And you like go out there, and the whole fucking paper plate is <laughs> on fire. And so, like, I of course throw it in the sink because you know fire water. And she's like, "There's oil!" Ah, ah. So she opens the door and like runs outside with the throw it the on the grass fire. on the dried Damn grass. Damn near breaks her ankle, and then we just look at that and we're like, "Did we need a, like well, a camera crew I, with you girls? I swear to God." I hope. We sell that. Was house. your contractor like? I'm like, yeah. He's just like the fuck, fuck dude. Going dude he thought we were crackheads. He's I mean, like, oh we look like God. it. But we need to it's find fine. if anybody has ideas of getting baby pumpkins and acorns. They need to be real, so we can go and Whole like foods. bless this house. Whole mm-hmm. Foods. Did we try? Whole Foods. No, we didn't. Okay. We didn't. We did Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> Target. Uh, yeah. They Walmart. Have, Target. They have shifted to Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tried Hobby okay. Lobby. But that's our story, yeah. If you want to look yeah. at it, dude, we'll take any advice. I, totally. Yeah. I Like I said, I work with a lot of uh, other real estate investors and people in real estate. I'm just a big believer that there's just so much business out there. Mm-hmm. Like, this is not really amount of competition. I like to know where people are, so I'm not there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, right. I'm not trying to list a house where someone else is listing a house. So there's benefit to knowing where everyone's kind of mm-hmm. into at the moment. Yeah. But there's so much business out there. And, like, if someone wins, you win too. Mm-hmm. But there's little, like, such little things that you can change that make such a big difference in the market. And even with the change of the market, there's things you can do now mm-hmm. that – we have had to do back then. I, I didn't get started in this business when it was hot. Yeah. I mean, I would if people got started at the beginning of COVID or say like right after, because we thought the world was going to end. Right? Yeah, we did. We thought the world was going to end, and then all of a sudden real estate took off. If you worked, if you started in real estate, then you'd probably be like, real estate's ending. Yeah. But I didn't start in that. Our homes back in the day used to take forty-five to sixty days mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. sell. That was just yeah, and what that's what it we're was, hearing too. And that's what we're going and back to. It's the holiday season. And but you know, that. my family works in real estate, and they gave me really good advice. They're like, if you're waiting that forty-five and sixty days for something to happen, you're too late to the game. So mm-hmm. you don't want to wait the forty-five to sixty days. No. But if you see something happening, like people not coming or whatever. Make those changes now. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll change the listing description. We'll change the front photo. I'll go in and rearrange the furniture. Mm-hmm. I, I had a house in Littleton. I kid you not. It would not sell. It was such a big, beautiful home in Littleton. 
it was so pretty. We had like poured con like concrete countertops. It was so cool. And the house would not sell. I kid you not, in the backyard I added five hundred square feet, maybe two hundred square feet of real grass. Mm -hmm. It sold that afternoon. <laughs> It was like 150 mm -hmm. bucks. Mm -hmm. so people don't have people the don't foresight have to see that. No, right? yeah. yeah, literally 150 yeah. bucks for real grass on this right next to this little tree. Yeah, no spring, nothing, just little yeah, grass. Yeah, crazy. And that's enough for the, the dogs, you know. Yeah, because yeah. people do not. You're giving. Yeah, the buyers are just going to be super particular, and they have no need to pull the trigger. You have to create that false sense mm -hmm. of need to pull yeah. the trigger. They're not going to create it themselves. We're back mm -hmm. into like mm -hmm. overanalyzing. Yeah, and I mean we're offering like everything. a buy down on it and all sorts of things, but like one of the rooms isn't staged. Yeah, so I, I don't do know that. if it necessarily always matters in regards to all the rooms staged, but how you, it could be literally, it could be like the silliest thing. Okay. Yeah. I have found that most times it sells. It's not pumpkins like, and acorns. Try to the earth. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank, thank, thank. You <laughs> laugh though, but I am not like a feng shui up expert. <laughs> Fun shui, fun shui, I mean, fun we shui. did it. <laughs> but I, when I go into home, like, I'm always like, oh, like, I pay attention to, like, how do you flow through the house? And does this feel good? Where yeah. does the bed sit? Is it facing, you know, because people maybe don't know about it, but they do feel it. Mm -hmm. So even though it is silly, right? there is some. No, no, we're about it. I yeah, mean, we did it. We bought the, the candle. candle. <laughs> We bought the candle. We're looking so actively for baby pumpkins and acorns. Yeah. So I guess um, something didn't go right. Whole Foods. It's probably me stomping on the candle. That's <laughs> probably oh, God. <laughs> what a disaster. <laughs> so what sets you, what do you think that makes you more, like not more successful, but sets you apart from people who do similar things that you do that, I mean, just are different? I don't you know. Yeah, just because you were you're saying it's just like some of the little things that other people yeah. might not yeah. see. Yeah, I definitely try and stay. You don't want to go too trendy, even though it's hard, right? Like we're girls, we love the pretty stuff, and I want to make the houses like so pretty. But some of it doesn't make sense. I have started to do things more fun. Like powder bathrooms should be more fun. If when I started in this business, it was a bunch of dudes fixing and flipping. Mm -hmm. And they all looked the same. No bed shot. Yeah, they all looked the same. Every Black bathroom yeah. had yeah. agreeable gray marble. floors. Yeah, everyone walls. had marble walls, marble on, yeah. on the walls. Every bathroom in the house was the same, super clean. It was. They were great, solid foundations of houses. I see why people do them. There is validity in it. It's easy time frame. But when you go into these homes, when you're looking to maximize numbers, if people are going to go look at a basic home, versus a custom designed home mm -hmm. which one are they going to pay more money for right. so usually per like dollar more if i compare myself to other people who are flipping the money has always been higher per square mm -hmm. foot and at the end mm -hmm. of the day this is my thought like if i need to dump a house right will my pretty ass house sell right yeah. mm -hmm. sure as hell will yeah. right. versus a, a just a standard white house it doesn't mean to go crazy it doesn't mean to do anything you know but do the maybe do the bedrooms need to have a chandelier can we like Juju this up a little bit. You put okay. a chandelier in my master bedroom. I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's badass. I like yeah. it. It's cool. I'll yeah. just, just see a picture. Do you have a picture? I got one. Yeah. Okay. I think yeah. so. I think just yeah. fun, fun stuff. Yeah, helps a little mm -hmm. bit. But I don't know if it's necessarily <laughs> something different. But I, I like that. I like that. Just do something a little bit different. Yeah, like a non cookie Stick out. cutter. Yeah. Just, yeah. just something. It doesn't have to be in all the rooms, but just something yeah. to be like. I was here. Yeah. And we got well, that's true with like buyers walking through like, oh, this is the one that had yeah. the wallpaper in the powder. That's what mm -hmm. Brooke does. Our, mm -hmm. our, our friend Brooke, who's an yeah. agent, she does like Airbnbs and she, you know, she does all the things. And she always has like one room with like really funky wallpaper. And I was yep. like, that's dope. Yeah. Yeah. Like she just puts her little stick on it. Yeah. You know, it just helps with like, especially, you know, like I said, we got really spoiled during COVID with real estate. Yeah. And you <laughs> didn't have to overly try a ton to sell a house. Mm. Uh but God, when people are scrolling days. through social media, they need pictures. The pictures need to look good. So yeah. you need to know how the home is going to be staged yeah. to know how you're going to finish it. Yeah. How is the bathroom picture going to be taken? So I make sure my cool tile is mm -hmm. in that picture. Because even before then, sometimes I've made mistakes. I have a really cool tile. And it didn't end up in any of the freaking MLS photos. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, what a freaking I mean, there was a photographer we were using for a while. And they would, she would never take a picture of the bathroom floors. It would always just be like tub and above which is why you now that? i which do basic ass floors because <laughs> <laughs> like, i want credit but there's like a sick floor here and you can't see yes. it yes yeah. Like, yeah you should just take control of the uh the, the photography yeah. you don't have, have to have outsource something yeah, yeah i don't got time for that got time we got a for sick that. photographer now yeah oh yeah, yeah, yeah can't yeah. even tell you her name yeah cause... too sick yeah <laughs> no really no, like, no she's really. booked out like crazy like 
Oh. No, really. She she yeah. her photography alone usually sells my properties. At least at le- okay. usually her photography alone at least drives people to come to the property. Yeah. To then choose yeah. whether they want to buy yeah, it. Yeah, it gets or not. a lot more. <laughs> you look at us are like yeah. I have so many There's a big difference between not all photographers are okay. equal, that's not for even sure. Close, not yeah. even. Not mm-hmm. even close. No. Hmm. It's mm-hmm. a big yeah. difference. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's when you're like, all right, things. let's talk about this because I know a lot of people want to get into like the finances and how that all works. When you're yeah. presented a deal, what's your process for like going through it Yeah. and coming up with your renovation budget? Yeah. How much of a like, I guess, what kind of a return are you looking to get to yeah. make it worth your while? Yeah. So now I, I've been doing this so long, so I can do a lot of yeah. it in my head now. And a lot of my deals are done out of my car with my kids screaming in the background. So <laughs> I usually reverse analyze all my deals. And so if a realtor sends me a deal, I usually, I ask for a few things in it first, right? I ask for the property and then I ask for comps, but mm-hmm. I want to know the crappy comps and I want to know the good comps because back in the day, crappy comps, like when foreclosures were a thing yeah that still is what appraisers are using you don't mm. get to not use them and so we'll, we'll be back to that time frame i need to know what's the worst on the market don't just send me the pretty stuff mm-hmm. that's the challenge with some wholesalers they're sending you just the pretty stuff you have to dig and find the ones that maybe didn't sell at that point so i usually look at those numbers and i come up with my own goal a low mm-hmm. end high end yeah i usually now, do, do you shoot I do for the high end high. <laughs> I, I, that's a that's a bonus. I don't yeah. usually shoot for that. Yeah. I usually shoot for low end, and then the high end is perk because mm-hmm. I think if you shoot for the high end, you're screwed if it doesn't mm-hmm. sell. So for that's that. what we did for yeah. Pensacola because yeah. like yeah. we had a lot of data that said five fifty. Yeah. yeah. We had no, some that I said just... five hundred or four eighty. So we and that's where mi- I disagree. Middle. And lot, not all. A lot, not all the agents get along with me. I, I understand that because mm-hmm. they're usually, like, oh, it'll sell for this, and I'm like, I get that, but I got to protect myself. Yeah. And right. my data saying it is probably going to sell for this. If it does sell for that, and you do a great job. Cool, that's yeah. a perk. Yeah. And we'll do business again. Mm-hmm. But if it doesn't, mm-hmm. right. like, I need to be cool at the end of the day. So I usually reverse engineer. I mean, Denver's pretty easy, right? Like, Victorian homes, you know. These were old numbers, though. Back then, you used to be able to do Victorian homes for $120,000. That's pre-COVID. <laughs> yeah. Can't even do a condo yeah. for that no, anymore. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, for Victorian homes, you're probably looking around $200,000, <coughs> yeah. mainly because the structures of those homes, and they have, like, the plaster walls. The minute you touch it, crumble, crumble. Mm-hmm. crumble. And you're always looking at electrical with Elect- that because you've got electrical. aluminum. electrical. They need just mm-hmm. everything's, like, not yeah. been updated. Um, the basements are hit or miss in regards to height. You yeah. just don't know. So. Yeah. Victorian homes, I kind of have a better idea. Those, I go in a little bit deeper because, but they, you can have some good deals, but there are some. You have to pad in some more. There like, are, but there are some renovators in Denver that love Victorian homes yeah. because they know they can make great spreads mm-hmm. and they will overpay, in my opinion, for them for that risk. Mm-hmm. So I have okay. a hard time competing for Victorian. So that's why I haven't done a whole yeah. ton of them. There's, there's just like a whole. Yeah. It's a unique home and like. Yeah. 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 And then other homes, people, you know. Same I, thing with like mid-century modern homes. Yep. Like people go. Yeah absolutely yeah. shit for what's your bread and butter that you kind of go after for them That's... i just love ugly homes like i've seen yeah. homes with like poop like in a black bag just like hanging out of the ceiling oh, <laughs> and you're like That's a great geez. spot for a chandelier <laughs> yeah. don't you think <laughs> and then the na- I, I went to one house the neighbor's like because she sees me you know and i usually have like little kid like whatever i'm usually with a lot of people i have a lot of baggage coming with me <laughs> and they're like roll deep yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, and she's boy. like um i think those weeds are is it not Noxious? What's the word? Like they're not yeah, allowed. Yeah, like a nauseous mm-hmm. weed or something. Yeah, you know. And then she's like, I don't think it's like sanitary for you to walk in this house. And you I was like, like eh. I thought that's all good. I'm good. <laughs> right, yeah, before right, like now right. you can wear masks and be like appropriate. Yeah. Right. I was like, it's all good. There's no COVID in there. <laughs> no. Oh, oh yeah, God. yeah. <laughs> Just asbestos. But we, yeah. <laughs> a but what? we've been in homes. Oh, asbestos. But I have, I have walked in homes where we had to crawl in through the back window because it was such a bad hoarder house, uh, and there were dead mice. Uh, like they uh, hoarders was are that great. No. <laughs> no, well, we did see dead mice. We did have in some there. mice in that yeah. one. Yeah. I don't usually Yikes. put the address, but we, I've been We probably some, had mice. Uh, yeah. yeah. Where you have to walk in a pathway, uh-huh. and mm-hmm. it's like a lot of dead mice and stuff. Uh-huh. But I have great guys that will come in and clean out a house. Like, dirty is not, like, you just, that can be gone in, like, literally a day. Yeah. yeah. Literally yeah. a mm-hmm. day. And most people aren't going to see the vision. Some investors, it's just too overwhelming for them. Mm-hmm. For me, I have guys who'll get that done in like a day. We yeah. can get three real, we can get three dumpsters there, and it's like come yeah. every two hours. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Be done. Start fresh. Mm-hmm. So then, okay. So what is your spread that makes sense to you? Because I know, like you know, you could Google like yeah. spreads, and there's like a little, literally like a ARV little ARV times point eight. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. yeah. I will say it's different yeah. in different markets. So mm-hmm. in Denver, if someone sends me a home that's three hundred thousand, there has to be a resale close to five hundred thousand to mm-hmm. even consider it. 
and then I work backwards. So what I'll do is the simplest way to put it is I'll say he'll say okay here's a 350 house and it can sell for 550, mm-hmm. or he'll say here's a 350 house but maybe it sells for 450. Okay. And I'm like okay what the hell is he thinking? But some are just cosmetic. Mm-hmm. So I'll go and through and see can I do this in a manner that would make sense for the mm-hmm. comps. If it's not possible, I don't even consider it. Mm-hmm. But if some houses you can do in four weeks, if it's just cosmetic, mm-hmm. would you make 20 grand off of that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. 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 <laughs> some people cosmetic, won't. Yeah. Some people won't work for those spreads, but if yeah. I can refresh a house and make 20 grand in four weeks, am I going to do it? Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Look at that deal. But it's just cosmetic things. Exactly. If it's, it. a, if it's a more intense house, then the spread has to be greater to make sense for the hold costs, yeah. the risk involved, the unknowns as well as just the price spread. Right. So the more expensive a house home, like the more expensive a house is, the spread needs to be greater too. Right. Because holding costs are just so expensive. Yeah. Yeah. And nowadays you have to be more clear about your spread because holding costs yeah. are going to be a right. bigger deal. Well, the market's will, taking 30 to 60, 60 days to sell. So yeah, you have to yeah. factor clo- that's I two months you, worth it'll get closer to 75 to 90, and that's not a bad thing. It's just – what it was but then that people are going to come in asking for concessions out the they don't butt have to. if they've seen it sitting at 90 days a hundred percent but i believe i've been analyzing a lot of other markets i'm super nerdy no i <laughs> like, like it i love like yeah. i can re- like i research all day it drives my husband crazy if i see like something i don't know i'll research i research a lot of markets because there's a lot you can learn from other places yeah and a lot of people in other states for example in arizona they don't drop their price they'll sit mm-hmm. for nine months at the same price. Trust me, I was like mm-hmm. offering them, oh, they'll offer, they'll take a deal. Yeah. No. They do not take the deal. And then they'll drop it a thousand bucks just to like refresh it. Yeah. Ah. And then when I look at when it, what it closes as, because you can track to see what they end up closing at. Yeah. That got Pretty much. Price. That well, price. that's what I'm okay. saying about this market that's today okay. is. Okay. But you have to have. That's what I'm saying. I don't yeah. think we should drop. What, what would you say about like a purchase price of like 300,000, rehabs like 80K, yeah. resales 450? Would you do that? Well, because you have to think, Sean's fees, <laughs> what's your seller's fees? <laughs> right. yeah. You sure. have to negotiate that in your holding costs. Mm-hmm. That would probably be, for me, like a little bit too tight. Yeah. But some people do, like, getting into the market's different than being in the market. Yeah. Like, when I got in the market, my spreads were like, would I do this for 10 grand? Yeah, I was right. younger. I didn't have financial responsibilities. Right. Sure, I'll do it for 10 grand. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah. But those were easier deals. Like, can I dump? It also depends on resale price. Mm-hmm. Because right now, if a home's listed around 500000 it's going to sell. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like below mm-hmm. the state's the median. median. Yeah. 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 So that's like a great place to be. But if you're above a million, you're looking at cash buyers from out of state. Right? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you marketing oh, yeah. them? Are you targeting them? Yeah. Like, that has to attract, Ooh, and that has to be yeah. visual cue. <laughs> I want to get into your marketing, too. Okay. Let's go for it. Well, so, I want to make one okay, comment about yeah, that, because yeah. what I've seen with the market today is the, you see a lot of desperation with a lot of sellers, because they mm-hmm. still think it is a year ago or two years yeah, ago. Right. So when you start seeing the massive price drops, that's how I know as a buyer's agent. Yeah. If you just dropped 40K, I'm going to offer you 20 to 30K less than right. that. And also, so even ones, about yeah, my house, I made drop. that, you know, emotional about selling, even selling my own yeah. project is I was like, if we drop price, this is this is a good example. Then you invite the vultures in. Well, the problem is, yeah. is people, there's no, there's still no incentive. We, we're thinking if we drop the price, people will be like, oh, let's buy now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's drop the price. The problem is, is you look at all the people that have dropped, see if they've sold in seven to 10 days. The answer is no. No, because dropping price right now is not the reason for them to pull the trigger. Mm-hmm. Concessions are actually not the reason for them to pull the trigger either. That can be a part of the conversation, mm-hmm. but... What I've learned from out of state is you have to believe wholeheartedly in your sale price Mm -hmm. and your agent has to. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that when I work with agents that they are passionate about the home. If someone's like, yeah, I think we could get that. Uh, Sorry, you're definitely not getting this listing. (laughs) I want someone who's like, I want this deal. This house is fire. They believe the comps. They know where the numbers are because that's. They're selling a story to the agent who's selling a story to the buyer. Right, 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 right. It's, them, right, right. it's their idea to craft it and yeah. know what to relay and where the numbers are coming from and how to yeah. You yeah. Know, relay the price. Price dropping does not make sense. And we just sold a house, and it ended up going significantly over what we listed, but it back to where it should have been. Mm-hmm. I dropped it below just to sell it. Uh-huh. But it now is selling at a price really where it should have been originally. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that just says, you know, the house will sell for All what right. it's worth. This house will sell for Based what it's on worth. on the market. The it's sellers that are, like, waiting and holding out 100%. usually get it. Your yeah. changes you're making can be little things, and it makes a big difference. Do I add a shelf here? Mm-hmm. 
right? Okay. Like even over at Pensacola, I was like, maybe I just need to add a shelf because maybe it's looking a little sparse over here. Yeah. It's never usually then something. We got an and you'll day. even just yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> screw the shelf. Like the shelf yeah. <laughs> you'll change like the, the property shelf. description. A hundred percent property oh, description. Maybe someone okay. in this area is wanting indoor outdoor lifestyle. Maybe mm-hmm. they don't care about that. Like my house was a party house. Yeah. So I was like, let's pitch this as a party house, right? Mm-hmm. But I'm realizing a lot of people in Colorado are more like chill. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're less partiers and more chill. So yeah, I was yeah, like, all right, yeah. let's remove the party perspective. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And like that this house can host like 500 people here and let's change it to more of just like indoor, outdoor. Yeah. I like that. Nice lot. Okay. So it's just different, just different things. Bring Photos, the family over. Bring the family. And enjoy the pool. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, you got my head going. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of different things. So marketing is marketing. And I used to teach at the um, Metro State University. Okay. And marketing is marketing. The foundations of marketing, no matter what was social media, when did you teach the there? Same. Does she seem familiar to you? Were you one of my students? We were. <laughs> we, we were. Mar- we were marketing <laughs> minors. We both. So oh, was you're a major. major. I yep. was a minor. So I used to work in the sports industry department for marketing. Yeah, that's so what I it did was. sports marketing, and I did because I was in sports marketing. Were you? Yeah. I, yeah. so I had a dude yeah. for sports marketing. I can't remember his name. Yep, so I taught sports marketing. Um, we did, like, sports industry operations. Yeah. But what years? Ugh, you're asking the wrong person. You don't remember? When you <laughs> had? I stopped when I had the twins, so I, I stopped teaching when I got pregnant with the twins. Okay. So that would be two, three, three years ago. Okay. Oh, years okay. Ago. Yeah. We were probably way before that. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. but keep going. So, so the foundations of marketing are the same. Whether you're doing social media or not, it's all the same. It's the same concepts. And some people jump ahead, but they haven't focused on, like, the foundation. So they're, like, doing all these crazy things. Like, why aren't I seeing success? And I'm like, well, did you do the basics first? What are the basics? The basics, it depends on what you're looking for, right? So for, like, realtors, it's like, did you build an About Me page? Are you listed on all the social media channels? Mm -hmm. Are you at least putting out basic content? You might be putting out advanced content, but no one's there, Mm -hmm. usually, Mm -hmm. you know? Um, Have you engaged with your fans? Do you know who your target market is? Um, So the biggest thing about marketing as well is high-low. So do you know what your low is? Do you know what your high is? And it's like price adjustments Mm -hmm. and where are you sitting? Mm -hmm. So it's called like price anchoring as well. Do you have any price anchoring? Like, so we had some that were listed at 550. So yeah, we could get to 550, but could I sell it at 520? If I got my house prettier and better than that 550 house, Uh 100%. Yeah. Oh, she's got the knowledge. I know. <laughs> I'm very Seriously, geeky. Yeah. Sean's yeah. like, that's I'm why. Very, uh, I'm very nerdy. I love numbers. I crunch them all day. Yeah. A deal is, I'm, I love a good deal. How many and deals have you done this year? This year? Flips. I have no idea. You have no I, idea? No. During COVID, I think I was usually working around four at a time. Okay. And so we would do like 10 to 14 a year. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But she, yeah, when I was pregnant with the twins, I think I was doing the most. I thought I was slow down. But I was like, you're just like, busy. All the deals <laughs> no, are yeah, yeah. All the, I was like, I was like, <laughs> this is so stupid. I was like, if Britney Spears was at the height of her career, would she yeah. not go on tour? Like, do you <laughs> right. know what I mean? Do you yeah. take a right. break? Yeah. Right. She would not yeah. take a break. Definitely she would go not. on tour. Yeah. yeah. And maybe I should have not used that. Answer. I was just gonna yeah. say, you know what? She's a little <laughs> Taylor Swift. I know. If Taylor like, Swift were at the top yeah, of her yeah, game, yeah. Taylor, she's yeah. tired. Pregnant with two of Travis Kelsey's kids. <laughs> yeah. Is she not going on exactly. tour? <laughs> exactly. Should she not have? Yeah. But I, my thought was like, the market's so great. Like, would my kids have wanted me to do better for ourselves? Like, they don't know any different. They're yeah. 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 And everyone would be like, yeah, oh, yeah. don't climb the stairs. I'm like, this is keeping me fit. Mm-hmm. And all my doctors were like, keep busy. I was working up until. Probably two now, were you delivering the tile when you were pregnant with the twins? I probably was carrying tile. Yeah. I was, yeah. Did you take time off after? Well, there's no. not a handicap. I didn't either. I didn't take I, a day of maternity no, leave. No, I had my. So she's not handicapped. She could carry yeah, she, well, but, I mean, well, they're not no, supposed to, like, they yeah. say. But oh. my doctors were. It's heavy ass tile. I, you're right. I, I wouldn't saying. know. Yeah. All y'all would know, and <laughs> okay. I wouldn't know. Well, it's hard because they give conflicting information, and I just wholeheartedly trusted my doctors at the time, and they were saying. The worst risk was sitting down and getting blood clots Mm -hmm. with twins. So they're like, the more active you are. And then I remember my sister saying, but do they know how active you actually are? Right? Right. They're thinking a pregnant person, like, walking around. Mm -hmm. You're, like, hiking mountains. Okay? (laughs) Like, this is not, like. So I was like, oh, no, he said I could be active. Like, no, we're good. (laughs) So, yeah, after, I think I was doing deals with both pregnancies in the hospital. I was good for your mental. Mm-hmm. And then afterwards, my dad was in town, so and he, uh, you know, my mom was in town, and we had a property in Golden that we were selling, and I hadn't, uh, it makes me nervous, like, listing house without, like, me putting my final touches and looking at it. 
and it was supposed to be a good a good one. So I came to look at it, and twins were in the car. And my mom stayed in the car, and mm-hmm. yeah. But right. oh. I honestly think oh, it was badass. I honestly think it was helpful for just keep life normal. Right. Because then I, I'm just not the person that can sit at home anyways. I can't yeah. imagine being like. Like so for sure. and the kids are uh, so your That's marketing crazy. is your marketing based on your projects then i mean so obviously you i actually a run a mar- I, I run a marketing business so i build websites i run people's social media good lord yeah. oh can you help us with seo oh seo is my jam Let's go. <laughs> why haven't we seo time. is Sean, my jam I- SEO is. I'm learning puzzle. so much about Kristen I right know, now. I so know. usually, I, we've talked about like projects yeah. and stuff. Like I don't know. Most we people need to only pick your brain. I will say you guys have probably had the most face to face time with me than anybody, probably yeah. including my husband in the last like five years. Yeah. Oh, thanks. But, uh, so this is this is. I mean, <clears> six years we've been working commodity. together. This is the longest conversation I've ever had. With yeah, her. people oh are like, by oh, far. they'll be like, oh, how's Sean doing? I'm like. I don't see Sean. I don't know. <laughs> I don't see Sean. Yeah. Sean put a lockbox on a house. I don't see yeah. my kids. I don't yeah, see my I'll be like, what do you mean? If I'm we like, do no, run into each other, we're like, oh, hey, hey. what's up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's it's kind of awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Do you ever turn down business? No. Not usually. So that's just why you're f- 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 crazy. Yeah, but if I didn't, what else would I do? No shit, girl. I'd, I'd be you. so yeah, right? bored. You give yeah. me some work to do. Watch Days of Our Lives or some shit. Can you imagine? No, I cannot imagine. I mean, maybe that'd be good for my mental health, but I feel... Great. I don't well, know. We're gonna have to poke some time with you because yeah. we need that. We, SEO we is need... SEO is just a puzzle. Google has not changed anything. SEO is a freaking puzzle. Yeah. So I, from a marketing perspective, I will say whoever I'm in front of is like what we talk about, right? Yeah. So it's like real estate, real estate, marketing, right. marketing. Yeah. Like my marketing clients, my marketing clients don't care about real estate. Yeah, but I didn't know that you build websites and SEO and all that it's stuff. All, we're trying to like yeah. figure that out. I when most of my friends are partying and I partied quite a bit but i used to stay up from like 1 to 3 a.m and analyzing like how to build websites and taking courses on mm. like who are you how i know it's so nerdy if i no, could have like the- <laughs> it's working that's what separates just, you from yeah. the world though yeah. but so when back in the reason was because back then even when like before houses would sell right away and before it was so easy like pop up one page websites i would build websites for my flips because it wasn't a thing then mm-hmm. and i saw it being done in new york california and big cities but it wasn't being done here so I would buy the property address URL. I would just throw up a page and optimize it. And so it just made the house look nicer, yeah. right? A better right. Like, experience for a buyer. Right. And I would just do it myself so I didn't have to pay any cash. <laughs> What's your marketing company called? Uh, so I'm changing it. Where should <laughs> I always change The problem is I just do rebrand. stuff. Yeah, rebrand. rebrand. I'm, yeah. It's going to be pineapple can. So it's called Sweet Data All in One Place. <laughs> <laughs> pineapple can yeah pineapple can pineapple can yeah. sweet data it all, all in, in one, one place, place. okay yeah. what it's is not your, a real thing it's not even live like what's your project management company called uh, or is that just you like contracting yeah it's we're shifting that as well it's gonna be rethinking spaces okay yeah, so because it needed to be um i've been pitched a lot of different opportunities in a lot of different realms and rethinking spaces just encapsulates working with investors, working with homeowners, and then doing my own projects. Mm-hmm. So everyone can kind of come find me at one place versus like separate Do you have like all. a social media for just you then and yeah, it's all your stuff yeah. in there? Yep. Do you do YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook? Do you do all the things or what's your it's, like go-to? It's easier to do for others than it is for yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I, yeah. So, but I will say I do a lot of Instagram. I do Instagram stories almost every day. Um, it's a big difference for one agents need to know that I'm still working on deals. Right. Because what was happening back in the day as I'd get business cards and I would meet a lot of agents and I know numbers a thing. And it, like some like a random agent you might meet might go to a house and be like, I can't list this on the market. <laughs> like right. this is not gonna like or you know, you, you guys aren't gonna be able to approve this loan. Like they are this is not a, a traditional deal. But they might forget about that I met them two mm-hmm. months ago. So what I do is is what I used to teach my marketing client my marketing students was you get business cards, you collect, 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 follow them on all, all your social media, yep. make sure you're engaging with their stuff, and then they see your stuff. So mm-hmm. you're always top of mind. So when they find a deal, who do they think that's mm-hmm. going to make it an easy, seamless mm-hmm. experience for their sellers? Kristen. Mm-hmm. So that's usually where I get a lot of my deals from a lot of the agents that I've met. They're like, hey, I don't know if you're interested in this deal. And I'm like, hell yeah, I'll look at right. it. Right. But those one-off deals are great, but you never know when someone's going to bring you a deal. There's no answer. Right. Right. It's just all about cultivating But you're staying top of mind. You're posting yeah. at least a story every day. You're going, you're yeah. going, you're going, you're doing the thing. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it's hard because I, I literally can't with three littles, I can't call people all the time. Right. right. So it's more of a, 
it just happened to be that that yeah. I could update everybody because I just don't get to catch up with quick. everybody. Because it's quick, yeah. You can't make can't calls to, call to everybody. You can't do every yeah. little event yeah. that's out there. Yeah, yeah. Can't, you can't take me coffee. You can meet me at the playground with a coffee. Right. Like, right. yeah, <laughs> I can't go. There you go. Yeah, like my kids yeah. aren't gonna sit at Come Starbucks. To me. Yeah, that's a badass place to be. Though, so you know? it just depends on where. But like I said, SEO is a a big game nowadays yeah. because during COVID, people did like. It's not that we had free money, but people yeah, yeah. had access to a lot yeah, more cash right. during COVID. And maybe they weren't traveling as much, weren't doing anything. And marketing starting to pick up again because people are having to focus more mm. on marketing. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube, YouTube's a puzzle, too. Like, you can – YouTube's not – it's just like Instagram. It's just a puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you going to put her, Sean? Bullfrog, Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's a fun town. Like it's a party that. town. It's like by Lake Powell, I Could think. You hear my stomach All right, you go to words. Bullfrog. You wake up in Bullfrog, Arizona tomorrow. Okay. Okay. okay? And you don't have any money. Yeah. No access to any money. No okay. resources. But you know what you know. Yeah. What are you going to be doing? You're living in a rev- red roof in. There you go. You got to live in the red roof. Hey, red roof was a, they rebranded. I feel like <laughs> <laughs> red roof yeah. rebranded. Bullfrog, Arizona, red yeah. roof yeah. in. They, no they money. Serve no oatmeal money. Every you have morning. a phone and you okay. have a computer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You got that. Yeah. And that shaky red roof in internet connection. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing over the next 60 days to make sure you've got money coming in? That's the easiest You're doing answer deals? ever. That's Let's the go. easiest question What's ever. What's up? You go on Google and you see which businesses on that street are not showing up. Boom. Okay. And you go to everyone and say, what's your budget? Yeah. Get them listed. You can, you can get everyone listed within under 24 hours. One person you mean start talking. Get start marketing listed. for businesses. Yeah, start oh, marketing for like businesses. Like make them a, a website page? Well, just, no, put them on Google. A majority. No. There's a majority of businesses – that are not mm-hmm. online still to this day. So I saw this one webinar that was like so impactful. He did a Google search and there's, you know, the businesses that you see? Yeah. And then there's the red dots. Mm-hmm. The red dots are businesses that are not online. Mm. Oh. So that's how back in the day when we got marketing was you'd see all the plumbers. Basically, when you have a plumbing problem, right? Let's say you're like, your toilet's not whatever. Yeah. You're not a like, chandelier you're shit. Not, you're not like calling your neighbor like, oh, you're going to Google. Right. Yeah. So you right. have yeah. to be found online. So right. the biggest thing that we were taught was, or I saw from this guy that was teaching it, was you go online and search any business, mm-hmm. cosmetology, plumbing, whatever, and you see the click on the dot who doesn't have their name listed mm-hmm. or who's not on the top group. Okay. How does Google know that there's a business there then? Like, wh- how Google do they- is the world. I know, <laughs> but how do they know to put a red dot there for, do they know what it, just for something? Yeah. It's just something. Yeah, it's just not optimized. It just mm-hmm. doesn't, well, like, it wasn't like, a claimed, it wasn't, con- at that point, it wasn't, like, a claimed business. Right. But they knew it was a business, but no one had claimed it as ownership. Uh, right, and yeah. you have those They probably have access to data, that, like, yeah. census data. Drive around, and, and shit, like, so. there's, I mean, yeah. there's video of everywhere on every yeah. fucking street. And then and someone was like, hey, like, if you go to, like, a nail salon, be like, hey, for, like, 500 bucks, I'll get you listed in 24 hours. People can find you first page of Google. Um, can okay. I tell you can I find four businesses? what a pain in the ass it was to get our Google up? Do you remember that? They had to send, they you, had a to send you a fucking postcard. Uh, it went to the wrong address. Yeah. <laughs> and then how many times did it go Claim to the wrong the address? That was a pain in the ass. And then we had to get on a Zoom wrong. call with somebody, and I had to make a fake... What, what did like I a make? Sign. A decal. You had to do a sign. Yeah, a fake sign. Yeah, yeah I'm like, going through that right now. Because we were in a fucking WeWork, dude, and they're yeah. like, we yeah. need a decal on here, and we need fucking... And Sarah's yeah. like, uh, Canva. Glued a piece of paper. Yeah, just print it off. Yeah, because they want to make sure that it's branded, but if you have, like, the branded images, I usually have, like, 20 images we create, and we just pump them on all yeah. the social media platforms yeah. and then just creates consistency so wherever mm-hmm. you are they but like I was talking with this carpet doctor guy yesterday and he was in Highlands Ranch and I just Google search and his Google says carpet doctor Thornton so I was like oh that's you're bro. like, this is Highlands yeah. Ranch, Easy, bro. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we yeah. just got to update his Google listing. Just yeah. shipped yeah. it to Highlands Ranch. All Ranch. houses built in the 90s just swarming in carpet. Yeah. Right. It's Highlands Ranch. God, that yeah. must yeah. be the most confident, quickest answer that we've yeah. had to that question. Oh, yeah. really? That's like, so I, many people, like, <laughs> overthinking, like, oh, uh, 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 you're like, that's easy. Yeah, they're like, yeah. what would I do? we got feet no, finders but, but thrown out there. this is my there. perspective. <laughs> you're saying, no kids is a distraction? Yeah. No, like, no. Time by myself? Like, that would be... Mm. Kind of a vacation. Mm-hmm. Oh. She's like, put me yeah. in bullfrog city. <laughs> yeah. like, throw yeah. throw me, me in the DMV here. without my kids yeah. for an hour. I think I'm in a Fuck different yeah. perspective. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm in a different perspective. <laughs> oh All my right. gosh. Kristen, yeah, I love, that. love having thank you on. You. Thank yes, you. Yes, thank you. Yeah. This is dope. Hopefully it was helpful. This is an oh, over. Yeah. This is an over. Yeah. We're out. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Boom. All right. Good one. We're doing.